Now that you have learned how to add a CSS file to your existing HTML document, let's learn some of the basic CSS properties that you are going to use very frequently. As you can see, this is Sublime Text and currently style.css is open on our screen. So now let's create a new HTML file and let's save it as CSS underscore demo dot HTML and let's quickly add the HTML tag let's add the title tag and let's add the body tag and inside the body tag let's add a few things first let's add a h1 which will say CSS demo let's add a paragraph which will say this is a demo let's copy this and paste it a few times like this and let's add one more thing that is an image uh, the image is facebook dot png let's save it let's go to the page and let's open CSS demo. So this is how the page looks. So before changing anything, let's add the CSS file to our current page by giving the path of the CSS file, which is CSS slash style dot CSS. Save, reload. And as you can see, now the color is yellow because if you remember, in the last lecture we have created the background color to be yellow let's change it to purple save reload so now this is how our page looks now let's do one thing let's change the, the text color of the entire page to white to do this we have to use a property called color and inside color you have to just provide the name of the color and once you save it and reload see the color has been changed right so this was the first property color property the next thing is what if i want this heading should be displayed in the center of the page and not on the left side of the page so this can be done using a property called text align and the text align property will be applied to this h1 tag so how will you write it you will write it like this h1 curly braces text align center file save reload as simple as that this is how you align a text in the center of the page so this was the second property let's go to the third property the third property is that what if you want to shift your image from this size this side of the web page to the right side of the web page this can be done using a CSS property called float so what we will do is we will apply the float property to the image tag and we'll just write write file save let's reload the page and as you can see now the image has been shifted to the right side so up until now we have learned four properties the number one was background property second text align property third float property and fourth the color of the phone font property Let's do one more for this video and that is font size property. So what if I want the size of this font should be greater, it should be bigger. So for doing that, what you will do is you will use a CSS property called font size. Now you have to apply this property on the paragraph tag. So what you will do is you will go down, you will write P curly braces font size 
you can set it anything in pixels suppose we set it to 20 pixels file save reload and you can see the size of the font has been increased to 20 pixels